Before I start this video, I'd like to take this time to thank the Cuphead fan for requesting this video. If you would like to request a video, simply type your idea in the comments and I'll consider it as well as display your comment like so. Now, onto the video. DreamWorks sure does make a lot more animated film franchises than Disney, don't they? And one series from the big DW that doesn't get much attention is the Madagascar Saga. It's about the many animals of the zoo and wild who go on crazy adventures, and with the three main installments and one spin-off that were created, I'll be ranking them from worst to best. For those that didn't pick up a tour guide on how these videos work, a spoiler alert is given to you now so you can proceed with caution. Have your cameras ready, since we have some creatures roaring, smiling, and waving for attention. And they'll all get it right away. Hey, I'm Owen, the fiction fanboy, and here's my top 4 Madagascar movies. Penguins of Madagascar Following the origin story of how Private was hatched from his egg and had Skipper, Kowalski, and Rico as family, this spin-off takes place after the events of Madagascar 3, where the penguins must stop Dave, an octopus who got rejected by penguins worldwide and seeks revenge by kidnapping them and turning them into monsters, while also having rivalry with the more professional North Wind Force. I really liked this movie back then, and with that, you're probably wondering why I have it at the bottom of the list. Alas, my admiration was just me getting into the Penguins as a youth, and while I still think they're the best characters in the franchise and there's a good message, the comedy feels hit and miss, the competitiveness can get tiresome, and classified even guilt trips Skipper into thinking their team is better. It's sad how what I used to think was an awesome standalone film ended up being a simple kaboom of the past. Madagascar Alex the Lion, Marty the Zebra, Gloria the Hippo, and Melman the Giraffe have been living their normal zoo routine, yet for Marty's birthday wish, he wanted to go to the wild, so he left during the night, causing the other animals to get him back. Upon getting caught in public, the four end up on an island called Madagascar, their home away from home, where there are lemurs led by King Julian, who have a Fusa problem. Even after roughly two decades, while I wouldn't call it amazing or anything, it's still a solid classic flick. Aside from the lack of a proper antagonist for the story, it was a nice introduction to the herd we'd see for the next batch of years. There are plenty of jokes for kids and adults to make them giggle, and I enjoy the Penguins' side plot the most. It's aged alright for me, and I don't think it hurt for any of us to revisit it. Madagascar Escape to Africa We first see Alake, baby Alex, along with his father and the power-hungry Makunga to learn of their history, how Alex ended up in the zoo and met his other zoo mates, and our recap of the events of the first movie. Fast forward to the present and the crew try going back to the Big Apple via plane, yet crash land in Africa where they meet their species, including Alex reuniting with his parents. I'd say this sequel did a fair bit of justice to the original, as some of the events are interesting and others are fine enough. It's about finding out where you belong while still delivering a few laughs, plenty of good moments, and workable obstacles along the way. The penguins remain charming, whether you can excuse Skipper's affection for a doll or not, and you thought Melman loving Gloria was weird. Though I can't help but find one installment surpassing the others gradually, and surely you know which one that is. Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted Heh, <laughs> another franchise under the three times lucky category. Starting where the second entry left off, Alex fears he and his friends won't ever get to their zoo, so they went to where the penguins were having their vacation, Monte Carlo, in hopes that they'll take them home. Reunion cuts short as Animal Control Captain Dubois is after the wild animals, and to make matters worse, they only got as far as France. 
The zoo creatures find a circus train and lie about being in the circus so they could escape the expert hunter and learn that the performers aren't good, meaning all animals must put on a show-stopping show so they could get to America. I'd say it's a blast, regardless if you do it out of a cannon or not, as seeing the zoo and circus animals interact with each other was fun. Dubois is the best villain in the series, Dave would be the runner-up. The penguins are as cool as they've ever been, and despite Julian loving Sonya the bear was the weakest side plot, it's still a passable breather. In terms of recommendations, I suggest seeing all of them unless you strongly prefer other franchises like Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, and How to Train Your Dragon. Notwithstanding that, this motion picture is the biggest crowd pleaser of the bunch. Want the fiction to spread? Then please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications. Don't forget to also comment below and follow me on Instagram for teasers and thumbnail previews of future YouTube videos. Thanks for watching, look forward to seeing you again, and have a good night-o!